Hello and welcome to Lifeline, the periodic online ministry update from Wells Relief. I'm Pastor Philip Shipman, Chairman of the Wells Committee on Relief. When disaster hits many times, the first hope many have is to just get back on their feet. The most basic needs, the things we take for granted, become major obstacles. The Wells Relief has learned from experience that quick and organized response can really make a difference in the life of an individual, family, congregation, and community. One way this need is met is through the deployment of our disaster trailers. Currently we have three trailers, two trailers equipped with an extensive supply of basic items that become difficult to obtain under disaster situations. The third trailer provides tools for cleanup and construction. As this is being produced, a trailer has been dispatched from its home in Mobile, Alabama to Mountain Home, Arkansas. A devastating ice storm has left Mountain Home and much of the surrounding area without power. Estimates are that it will be a month or more before electricity and other services are restored. In this case and many other disaster situations, the relief trailer becomes a trailer of hope. Part of the, the use of this trailer, this uh, resource that is stocked with tools and equipment and materials is to reach out to communities. Yes, it helps the congregation get established in their church and parsonage to use as a base of operations. Yes, it helps the members uh, get back on their feet, but it's also a wonderful tool then for the other people in the surrounding community that may need uh, help. It is our prayer that these current and future trailers can be strategically located throughout the country properly maintained and stocked in order to quickly and efficiently extend a lifeline to victims and relief workers. By being able to help with a person's physical needs, we're often blessed with an opportunity to share with them the true and eternal hope we have in Christ. A disaster, whenever it might strike, is a perfect opportunity that the Lord is perhaps giving us to then reach out to those um, neighbors and members of our community um, who at one time or another might not have been receptive to uh, the gospel message. It's also a, a great opportunity to bring people into a disaster area. One of the comments we receive most when our trailers come into an area is that people brought them, fellow Christians who bring their prayers and their smiling faces, their well wishes and their concerns. In an event like this, a natural disaster, that God uses that opportunity for people to be of service. You know, we talk about loving our brothers and loving our neighbors and serving our community and everything, and, and we preach about it and we listen to it on Sundays, but that does provide people the opportunity to actually do something that they can put their hands on, you know, something that they can say, this is something I can do, whether that's um, financing the trailers that are used for the, those events or one of the ladies in my congregation uh, went out and bought some of the stuff to stock the trailer, whether that's delivering the trailer, whether that's going with the trailer to do some of the work in, in that area. I, that's one of the, the blessings that I think God uses a natural disaster like that to let people go ahead and practice the faith that they profess. To learn more about the Wells Relief, please visit us at www.wellsrelief.net. That's www.wels r-e-l-i-e-f dot net. Also check back here often for new episodes of Lifeline. Thanks for listening.